king of the hill, man. This is going to be dope. It's a very, very hard competition. Again, it's six minutes, so there has to be action. If there is no winner, then we go for the guy who ended up putting the most action in. Next guy steps up. And ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our special guest referee for the Combat Grappling King of the Hill, the voice of XFN. He is Blake Bowman. The first two fighters participating in the Combat Grappling King of the Hill, they are Justin Jimenez and Tevin Ellis. the first match of the night begin. These guys immediately going in for the collar tie. And Hemina is just getting automatic head position. That's one of the things that he's just pushing the pace, keeping the center of the cage. That was playing nice defensively. Nice methodical, beautiful double leg, but Hemina just picks it up. No struggle on his face. You, you see these guys going back and forth. They're just pushing, pushing, trying to, trying to really implement some type of control. The only problem is they might have to do this for six minutes and then do it again. Again, I'm 100% tired just thinking about it. You have to think about it. If there's no action, you're going against someone else to fresh for six minutes, possibly, if you don't get that submission. Going in for a little bit of a guillotine lock, but doesn't get it. I always tried for a single leg, but more didn't solidify it. You see that head control, Eminence. Just pushing that pace, pushing his opponent against the fence. No point to the oh, and he goes in for the fireman's there. Drops down to the single, but Ellis defends it, no problem. And again, back to the center of the cage, trying to implement some type of control. Both of them standing right in front, trying to see what's up. Ellis immediately shot, reshot. Defends it, shoots back in, has a single leg there, but can't finish that take. The Jimenez is, is doing a good job defending. Doesn't have a wizard, but he does have nice head control. Use that collar tie to push it back to the center of the cage. Or if that guillotine some kind of like a front headlock snap down, it can't get Ellis' head down. Shot outside single, goes from the inside. He's trying to transition and he gets him down. Great job trying to pass the side mount. Trying to pass that knee and he does. Now can he hold Ellis down? And can he solidify his own submission? Keeping that pressure there, he has that one arm there. Oh, remember it is combat jiu-jitsu so you can slap once the fight is down to the ground. And that's the thing. Most people forget, but he gets one hook in. Is he gonna fall over to the side? That's the problem. So far, everything's all good. Well, oh, is somebody going for a calf slicer here? They're both going for a calf slicer, back and forth. Oh, this is just painful to watch. And this is where pride really kicks in to see who's gonna give up first. They both have the submission in there. They're both trying to go for the calf slicer. What they need to do is go for the toes and be able to pull straight down. The Jimenez takes the back once again. And now again, you have that combat jiu-jitsu. Oh, man, you just hear those slaps from here. I know it's part of the sport, but man, I feel so disrespectful. <laughs> I don't really get punched any day. Jimenez on top, 
He's on the side, so if he does get a rear naked choke in, he can use that uh, extension there. He can arch all the way. But right now, you see him elevating the leg. What they do in wrestling, they keep their opponent on their back. He has that top hook in. Can't see from this angle, but it might be a nice little body try. Ellis is putting pressure on that body trying to kind of alleviate some pressure, be able to turn a little bit. He's trying to step on that leg and turn. Body triangles are exhausting. They're fighting that hand control there. One little mistake, Ellis could get choked out from here. But it looks like Jimenez is, is gonna arch him down. He extends him. Beautiful body triangle. It's just painful for Ellis to be able to try to move in that position. It's exhausting. Again, that combat jiu-jitsu, you forget about those smacks. It opens up a lot more. And those are right above the ear, perfectly fine, perfectly legal. We saw Ellis is trying to hook that leg to be able to turn, and he does. He's out of that body triangle. Hemmen is on top, stuck in half guard right now. Trying to push the pace. And he readjusts to get his own underhook to keep the point flat on his back. But Ellis right now trying to implement a full guard. Oh, Ellis, I, if I couldn't get up, I'd try to implement some smacks back. He does. I think he's listening to me. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that stuff. Again, it feels so disrespectful. You just get so upset and you go at it. And you see right now, Jimenez did not like that. And he's attacking back. And we have 10 seconds left. Now, now it's just a slap contest. There was no submission. The referee will choose one guy to stay in. The problem is, they have a fresh guy coming in next. My name is Pat Jones. And then Ellis will leave the cage, and Pat Jones will enter the cage. Pat Jones steps inside the cage, and Jimenez, I can believe, won that round, but again, it doesn't matter. It counts if it's a submission only. Now he has to face the fresh Pat Jones, and Pat Jones immediately starting off strong, putting in the pressure, and that's the benefit. Oh, he tried to go for that dump there, but he almost put himself to his butt. It's a benefit about being that fresh guy. You want to push the pace. He has a nice body lock. Looks like he was going to lift, and he gets that outside trip. Beautiful job. Pat Jones on top. Can't tell if he's in side mount or in half guard right now, but he's trying to position himself. Again, that combat jiu-jitsu, and he's in, he is in side mount. And he has a very high side mount, very strong. And it looks like he's trying to put the neon belly to step over the mount. But Jimenez gives up his back. And Jones on top, trying to get a rear naked choke here. These guys are right next to me. What's up, guys? Again, that combat jiu-jitsu, those slaps are there. Trying to open up, he can go for that face crank, that Khabib style face crank, but he's pushing back and forth. Beautiful body triangle by Pat Jones on top. Again, he does have a tired opponent in front of him, or at least a little more gas and fatigue. Now he's trying to go for a little, ooh, a little wrench right there. Oh, that's tight. That is extremely tight. Is he gonna get the submission? Again, it's a squeeze, it's not a choke, but man, it gets exhausting and that pressure gets you to fold. And beautiful job by Jimenez fighting that out, but he also spits out his mouthpiece. Oh, just to get a breather, man, it's, it's exhausting. Again, he's already been in there for six minutes. Now possibly two more, three more. And again, with his back taken, Pat Jones can start slapping away to keep on going for that rear naked choke. And he's trying to go for it again. They're fighting hand control. Pat Jones being smart. Staying nice and calm on top, smacking away. Wow, he's just so good with that body triangle and squeezing again with that crank. I wouldn't even call it a crank, it's just a, a good, good little neck wrench. 
it's just a squeeze, that pressure, man. Just feels like your, your jaw's gonna break. And beautiful job by Jimenez being able to spin and explode. And now he's on top, trying to solidify his own position. But Pat Jones immediately stands back up. That wide base trying to get underhooks. And they're both on their feet, but Pat Jones pushing that pace again is not trying to give Jimenez a break. And staying on top. And I'm just exhausted looking at this, because again, Jimenez has been in there for probably about nine to 10 minutes now. Going in for his own shot, but Jones is able to sprawl, and he's trying to circle around, which he does. He gets a nice little half guard, he's trying to push the pace, but he needs to solidify his own underhook to get his opponent on his back. And right now, trying to pass the half guard again. Trying to get that position he was in earlier, the side mount, to possibly take the back once again. The knee inside, it looks like, looks like Hemmings is trying to lock in a Kimura, right? He has a Kimura grip in there. He can transition to either a Kimura or over on armbar. It just depends on what Pat Jones gives him, but Pat Jones is trying to posture up, and he does to get his arm out. He's on top. Jones trying to put in the pressure. Trying to step over, trying to do a nice little uh, a, a cross step over, but he just couldn't do it. Jimenez is ready, sees it coming, he keeps on trying to go for that Kimura. That one didn't set up as well, but, oh, and there go the slaps again. <laughs> oh, man, you just hear those from here. It's so bad. It's so bad. You just see people turning away. I'd rather, I 100% rather see people get punched. This, oh, man. This is just so like disrespectful to me. <laughs> just getting slapped in the face. It ma it makes you it makes you crazy. At least for me, it makes me crazy. It makes me think like I would just want to smack you back, and now I open up in the wrong way and put myself possibly in a bad position. Smacks hurt. Again, punches you don't really feel, but smacks. Oh, that's it's brutal, brutal stuff. But he's on top. Pat Jones trying to, again. He's in half guard, trying to pass over to a side mount. He has an underhook on one side, and he's putting that pressure, keeping Heminis' full back against the floor. It's harder for him to get up. You see how he's putting that pressure on that chin. Leaning over a little bit to one side, trying to solidify that arm. Maybe he's going for an Americana, straight arm bar, Kimura. He's on top. Got a nice little slap to the, to the rib there. Another one there, palm strikes. Again, perfectly legal. Jimenez had that underhook there. That is a very dominating thing. Once you get the underhook, you have the ability to try to be able to scoot your hips out and possibly scramble, but Pat Jones, oh, brutal slap. When that mouthpiece back in, Pat Jones again on top, holding down position, and he's the dominant one in this round. But is he gonna be dominant if he goes to the next one? Is he gonna be just as active as he was when he first started it? Again, this condition is ridiculous, and 10 seconds to go. This is a battle of attrition, and again, it's not just against one, it's against two. And this is exhausting. This is where the test comes back in. We're talking about coming back in, Tevin Ellis is on the way inside the cage. Justin Jimenez will leave the cage, and Tevin Ellis will re-enter the cage. Now he's versus Pat Jones. The first one for them, Pat Jones immediately, but you can see that fatigue there. He's just not the same person, not as, not as you know, calm and methodical. He's tired, he's definitely exhausted, but he's pushing the pace and he's not giving in. And this is a King of the Hill type of match, so if, you know, if Pat Jones ends up winning this round, at least by aggression and more activity, he's gonna be chosen to stay in there. So that's where you have to try to game plan. Do you want to win this round? Or do you just want to survive and, and possibly catch your breath the next time you come back in? And be that fresher, fresher person. 
This is a back and forth type of battle. Tevin Ellis' style looks like a little more of a, a counter wrestling type of style, counter jiu-jitsu. Waiting for his opponent to react. Waiting for his opponent to mess up. And then he can implement his game again right there. You saw the fake shot to a reshot and beautiful double leg takedown. With a nice slam to it. And I'm getting information right now. Again, it is six minute rounds, but if there is no winner after this round, we're gonna change the clock to three minutes. So a lot more action. They have no choice but to push the pace. You know, six minutes is a long time. But if there's no action, it's okay. You have more time to make up for it. Three minutes, you need to work, 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 work to get that submission. See Pat Jones on his back. Trying to implement that rubber guard there. Or attempt Planet Mission Control. I could be wrong, please. You know, uh, no, no one call me yelling at me. I don't want Eddie, oh, brutal slap. I don't want Eddie Bravo calling me and, and saying it was the wrong, wrong submission name. My apologies. Both of them going back and forth with slaps. Looks like he's trying to lock in a, a Darce choke there. It's very, very close. He's at the fingertip range, but he gives up on it because it just wasn't there. He didn't want to overexert his arms. Again, this is a battle of attrition. It's not just one opponent you need to submit. You need to submit two. I just wonder how long this is going to go. And Pat Jones has a more lock, but... Ellis steps over immediately knowing what's coming, what's next, and he, he seems very relaxed. Oh, he throws up a triangle there. Beautiful job by Pat Jones, trying to pull down the head. He's trying to squeeze his knees. I don't know how tight that is. Oh, Ellis needs to posture up before Pat Jones is able to really lock this in. It doesn't look like it's completely there. And nice job by Ellis being able to posture up to get out of that triangle. A beautiful job by Pat Jones by just, just showing he's dangerous even off of his back. And Ellis transitions beautifully to mount. And he jumps for his own arm bar, but a little too fast. Didn't set it up properly. It was there, but he rushed it a little too soon and just wasn't in proper position to finish it. And again, slap contest once again. This is where you can tell these guys are kind of trying to take their breaks when they can. And I wonder how Jimenez is out just, is he catching the breather? Is he gonna be 100% or is he 90%? Is that gonna be enough moving into this next round if no one gets submission in this one? Ooh. These palm strikes are not fun. And they make you think, they make you put your hands up, make you possibly open up your guard. In Jiu Jitsu, again, you can keep your guard closed the entire time, nothing's gonna happen. But with combat Jiu Jitsu, you keep your guard closed, I'll posture up and keep smacking you. If you don't move, I'll just keep smacking you. So you eventually have to open up your guard and move. And I've seen in combat jiu-jitsu before, people tapping out due to strikes. Those palm strikes can get brutal. Some people are fantastic at it. And Pat Jones looks like he's trying to, trying to set up a scarf choke, an arm triangle. He's trying to pressure that forward, and Ellis sees it coming and immediately swivels his arm around. But Jones on top, trying to put that pressure in, keeping Ellis's head against the cage. I'm so happy I'm not in there. <laughs> These guys are just going at it. And it's just exhausting. Again, they, this was already three six minute rounds. Obviously, they did 12 minutes total. But the next round, if no submission, it's gonna be three minutes. And these guys are going at it now. Now again, quick update. The next round will be three minutes. 
And if the pace keeps on going the way it is, it's the referee's job to be the judge as well to say who's gonna win the round. So this one's all fair game, but this next round is gonna start. If no one gets a submission, we can still say that one person was dominant and won that round. No submission here, so. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, the rules will now be modified to where each round will be three minutes and will also include referees' decisions. And you heard it there. And all three of them inside the cage. Look at that sportsmanship, that camaraderie. You see Pat Jones leaning on the side. He's exhausted. He pushed the pace extremely fast from the start. We see our special guest referee explaining the rules here, letting them know what's up. They all agree? Pat Jones. Justin Jimenez will re-enter the cage, Well, Pat Jones will leave the cage. You heard that, Pat Jones leaves the cage, gets it regroup, but now it's less time. He's at the disadvantage because it's only three minutes for recovery. Everyone else technically had six. But now you have the start of the match. Jimenez versus Ellis. Ellis being a little more fatigued of the two just because he just came off a very, very tough round. Remember, this is only three minutes. And this will go to a referee's decision. If there is no submission. I just want to see someone get slapped again. That's, that's honestly what I'm going for. Remember, there are no strikes on the feet, only on the ground. But Jimenez shoots in a beautiful double leg, pushes Ellis against the fence. He has one arm around the leg, but that second arm is having a trouble there. There's one behind the knee, and he gets it under the butt. Man, Ellis does a beautiful job. And great takedown by Jimenez. Getting that single leg and dumping, spinning off to the side. There's a nice little half guard there. Again, keeping Ellis's head and back against the cage. And there go the slaps. Again, that combat jiu-jitsu changes it up. And Jimenez looking like he's transitioning to mount there. And Ellis might be giving up his back. And he does. Jimenez has nice back control. We saw earlier he had a beautiful body triangle on Ellis. And look, is he trying to go for a rear naked? Okay, I thought he was trying to go for a rear naked choke without any hooks. He can't do it. It's one of my favorite things to do, but some people are better at it than others. Again, we see him trying to put in those hooks. And he gets his body triangle once. Oh, excuse me. thought he had the body triangle. Get, has one hook in. He's trying to get a rear naked choke there. Not just... Just a nice, beautiful chin wrench, and he gets it. That's one submission for Jimenez. Now can he get another one? Justin Jimenez is declared the winner of the fall. Tevin Ellis will leave the cage, and Pat Jones will re-enter the cage. Remember, the only way to win the combat grappling king of the hill is two consecutive falls. It's, it's almost at a disadvantage for, for Pat Jones. He didn't have, he didn't have the full six minutes to recover, nor did he have the full three minutes to recover. He immediately has to go back in, and I mean, honestly, it's almost like a fair fight now. Remember, if Jimenez can get that submission, if not even win the round without a submission by the referee's decision, he wins this uh, combat jiu-jitsu match. But Pat Jones pushing the pace. And you can tell he's a little tired from earlier. He didn't, again, he didn't get that full recovery time. Both of them hand fighting right there. Nice wrist control by both. Going back and forth, trying to implement their little setup to go for a takedown, but Pat Jones puts that pressure on. Is he gonna go in for a shot? What is he gonna go for? Yeah. 
referee's getting a little bit of a workout in there. Beautiful sprawl by Pat Jones. Hemenes tried for that double leg. Pat Jones push, pushes the pressure on. And he's gonna go for his own shot. Remember, this is only three minutes. Both in color ties and beautiful shot by Jimenez, but amazing sprawl by Pat Jones. He pushed the pace his own, on his own, trying to get a headlock there, but can't bring that head down. Again, pressure, pressure, pressure by Jones. Tries to go for his own little snap down, but Jimenez has beautiful balance on his feet and is staying strong. This is a very even round. Hamnett going for more shots. Pat Jones having some beautiful sprawls and trying to reshoot, but just doesn't see that opening. Again, another shot by Jimenez. Trying to get him a Pat Jones. Trying to go around, trying to take the back. And Jimenez gets the takedown. Beautiful job. Takes Pat Jones' back. Gets both hooks in, and he's trying to extend, but he's high. And Pat Jones, again, butt up, tripoding, trying to get him to fall over. And it, it looks like he will, but he might transition to an armbar here. It's a last minute resort. Oh, beautiful job, and look at the flexibility by Pat Jones. Will Jimenez be able to get that neck wrench again? You think that back take was possibly to solidify it? Jimenez might have won this. I don't know. Let's see on the judges or the referees judges decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second ever XFA Combat Grappling King of the Hill Tournament, Justin Jimenez. And that was an amazing job by Justin Jimenez. Exhausting. And with this, this was a battle of attrition. How was it going into, I, I mean, how many rounds did you do? Four, five, you know? So mentally, how did you have the game, you know, game plan moving forward in this, in this competition? You know, I, I tried uh, when we were in the room, getting as many rolls in as I can, even a couple times. Uh, we had our coach, Corey, put the timer up, bump it from five to eight, 10 minutes. So, you know, it's just keeping up with it. You always gotta be ready. You never know what the rule set's gonna be. Well, I can't wait to see you back inside the cage, dude. That was an amazing job. Your winner, Justin Jimenez. <laughs>